Welcome to the first screen you get, and this is Xmonad. Let's look around. We have the polybar at the top, which is a menu system to have a bar and some elements on there with CPU, memory, etc. There is a wallpaper, that's uh, the logo of uh, Xmonad. And to the right, we have a conkey that we're not going to need once we know our shortcuts. So let's go over some shortcuts before we delete them in the next videos. When I press super shift and then D, I get a menu and I'm going to put on my screen key because I think it's not on yet. So there you are. Everything, every time I type something like control T, you'll see in a flash that I'm pressing a button. All right. Control T. Now let's go over What's in the conkey? There is lots and lots of more of shortcuts and maybe I'll uh, say a few, but you need to read the configuration of Xmonad. They're all in there. If you are coming from Arch Linux, XFC Openbox i3, maybe BSPWM or Awesome, you'll see that they are always the same shortcuts because we want you to get finger memory. You want your fingers know already that a control T is going to be a terminal. We hope that in every distro, wherever we go, that control T is programmed in it. Let's go over some of them. Super Shift D. Super Shift D is what I do to launch Firefox, for instance. That's uh, often what I do in any application of any desktop. I mean, I will, my fingers will press that menu because it's the D menu for my three. But to make it easier for you, we have Alt F2 as well. Run program, Firefox, Super Shift Q. There is Alt F3, that's super easy. That's your menu from XFC. So if you say, oh, what's the, what's the name again of that application? Well, go look for it in the menu and then you remember again, ah, oh, yeah, cool retro term, that was the name. Okay, Super Shift Q. You can launch it that way, you can type it again, it's all good. We have another menu for you, Super F11, it's not on there. And we have your Firefox. You start typing Firefox, enter, go. Super F12, Firefox, start typing, enter, Super Shift Q. So we have five menus for you available on, well, mostly any of the desktops. What's this super S, eh? super or Windows, super enter, is also a way to do, go to the terminal. Control T is another one, and super T, by the way, is another one. We have three ways to go to the terminal. So, we'll have a terminal. Super shift enter, super shift enter, file manager. Which file manager? We rely on so many systems on Tunar. It's super fast and it's tweakable. We even have installed it on Plasma because of the configure custom actions. We ha can have a lot of things in here and it's just a way of plus and make a new one. And there you are, we have a new custom action. It's super, super easy. It's also the way where we say, let's take a look at these two folders and let's compare them. I always do that so many times and that's super easy, super fun. So workflow, it's there because it's awesome. All right, bye. Shift, shup, uh, super shift enter. Done. Control Alt V. Vivaldi. Bye, Vivaldi. Super F2. Atom is launching. Super shift quit. Super F3, F1, 2, F10. Everything is just programmed. It's filled with, with shortcuts. And if you use it, that's up to you. Super shift. Uh, Super F7 is VirtualBox, Super F5 is Melt, etc. It's all uh, in the file of Xmonad. Super Space, to do explain Super Space, I need to, need to have some stuff. So I'm opening up some things. And then Super Space, Super Space, Super Space, Super Space, Super Space. All right? So a way to. Juggle around, juggle around or switch around 
um, these tiling windows. Super Shift Q, 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 Q. That was this one. Control Shift Escape, very interesting one. What is going on in my computer? Who is using all my CPU? Well, it's the simple screen recorder that's going to make my video. Fine. And what else? Control Alt U is an interesting one. Bluetooth headset. How do I set it? I'll set it in here. And then one set, I can listen to my Spotify or any other player. It does not need to be Super F10 launching Spotify. Change it to launch anything else of a player and start listening. Then Ctrl Alt P, it's not in here, but it's in the scripts. Take a look. It's in the configuration of Xmonad. Screenshot, print screen. This is an interesting one and a very important one. It should be mentioned in many videos. Super Shift R, Super Shift R, is going to recompile Xmonad. And that gives away what, why Xmonad is a bit special. You need to compile. Com if you hear compile, I think about applications, about a program. If you want to write an application, you need to compile it afterwards. Basically, our desktop is just not a desktop. It's an application and applications can go wrong. And I think a few weeks ago, during development, there was a bunch of Haskell stuff coming down. First thing you need to do is recompile. Now people were locked out because of the fact that LightDM says let's log in, but you can't log in because all these updates and the compilation was not done. So basically what you have to do is Control T, go into TTY, compile it, and you can run Xmonad again. So that's a little bit tricky, but we'll explain it. Best message, if you see things coming in from Haskell before you reboot sh Super Shift R, then it's compiled and everything will work when you reboot. That's simple. It's just common sense. Haskell comes in, updates come in, you need to compile it again. It's a new kind of application, new kind of dependencies are there. You need to recompile. Super Shift R. I hope it made, I made it clear that this is an important one. And Alt R is just restarting. So not, no compilation, no, no recompiling, but just, hey, start again. Super Shift X if you want to stop Xmonad, which we're not going to do, otherwise the video is broken. And Super Shift Q is, we've seen it all the time, I quit an application. Super X, I can show you that. And then you, you uh, choose whatever option you want. And for the rest, you'll see in the coming videos that there are many, many more of uh, keyboard shortcut keys that you can start to memorize because we'll always use the same keyboard keys on Openbox, XFC, i3 and all the coming uh, desktops will launch. Alright, that concludes it.